Look at this, it's 7.30 straight up. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. It's Monday night and team up together. Hey, guys. Um, you know, first, just first, before we get started tonight, thoughts and prayers to everyone who is affected by the shooting in Allen. I know that many of us in the Juice Plus community have friends or family or know people that have contacts or had experience with the shooting. So thoughts and prayers to everybody. Uh, and uh, welcome to the call tonight because we are a prayerful love community. So tonight though is about celebration. Uh, second Monday night of the month is typically celebration month. And uh, this month guys, in the month of uh, April, I've got to tell you, you, you showed up strong. Uh, 43 or 45 of us had three or more preferred customers, new AROs. And you know what that says to me? That the tide, the tide is turning. The tide is turning and we're stepping into our passion and our purpose and we're sharing the good news of Juice Plus. So thank you each and every one of you. You know, every single ARO is a blessing. Uh, and tonight though, we're celebrating four pretty amazing ladies who did something really, really spectacular uh, in the month of April. You know, they stepped into action with intention. And when I taught, when I, you know, celebrate each one of them individually, you'll know that very often this action might have been a little scary, scared and excited at the same time. And what I've learned in 29 years of studying personal growth is that whenever you step into that growth experience, whenever you are scared and excited at the same time, and you still keep taking the steps moving forward, moving forward, then what you're doing is up-leveling your self-esteem and your self-worth. And what we know science tells us today is that that is so important because most people will never outperform their self-image. Most people will never outperform their self-worth. And one of the steps to expanding that, up-leveling that, is getting into action and overcoming fear. Does that make sense? You guys get how important this is? So if you had three or more AROs, I know that for many of you, that was stepping into growth and going through some, some fear. So congratulations, it's, it's a big, big thing. So I thought tonight we'd start with uh, Sarah. Sarah, if you wanna unmute yourself, Sarah Zarecki, QSC under uh, National Marketing Director, Jerry Moran. She's a wife and a mom to grown children, okay? She, super smart, okay? Her job is with, what is it? I, I what is it? Br brainiacs, okay? Yeah. A brainiac, she works with brainiac. So that tells me she's a brainiac too. Okay, so here's this New Jersey girl, born and raised in New Jersey, now living in uh, North Carolina, and she's loving it. Um, put on seven new AROs in the month of April. Came out of nowhere, boom. Sarah, how, what, okay, mindset transformation, I know it was. What happened? How did this come to pass? Uh, okay, so um, just so many different things, but I think one of the main things was, uh, and I told Terry this, was really just acting in faith. That's why I'm wearing my hat. I started wearing my hat a lot too. Um, you know, a few years ago when all the pandemic stuff hit, I just found myself in this fear mode all the time, like so many other people. And I just finally got really tired of it. And I started this faith journey. You know, I got really close to God and um, all of that just started to help me day by day, get rid of this fear. Um, so this was one of my three tenants. One is, is walk in faith. Um, fear is just like the enemy's playground. So, you know, you start to mess with your head, like, Oh, I get nervous about talking about juice plus or whatever it is in my life. And I'm just like, no, <laughs> no. And I've been taking juice plus for 13 years. So all of a sudden I just found myself in this place of just sharing it everywhere. And, you know, it's okay. If someone's not ready to hear the message, that's okay. Just go to the next person. It's not a big deal. It used to like really get me down and I'd spend all this energy. Now I'm just like, move on. 
So, um, so with, with, uh, that, it was just so much fun. Cause I was just talking to, you know, like my sister-in-law with these promos, you know, like getting excited with the company and the branding and the prom promotions and the tower gardens and, you know, just everything was all hitting at once. And so I was like, yeah, I'm going to take, take advantage of this and showing up Terry for your calls too. And then Jerry moving to North Carolina was fabulous. And that just was so exciting. And, um, so that was my first one was, you know, faith over fear, walk, walk by faith, right? That's my first one. The second one is lead with love. Um, you know, sometimes people, they're just not ready. That's okay. You know, you have to be gentle about it because you can't beat someone over the head. Nobody likes a pushy person. I've been in sales my entire life and I've always tried, tried to be authentic and, and sort of gentle. And sometimes I have to be a little aggressive in what I sell, but you know, really just with Juice Plus, especially people are sharing things about their health journey or whatever it is. So um, lead with love, you know, and if somebody's not ready, that's okay. They might be ready three years from now. They might be ready three days from now. You just don't know. And sometimes people say yes, and then they change their mind and that's okay too. So just continue to lead with love, be very gentle with people. And then sow good seeds. That was my third one, which really goes to my passion for gardening and power gardens. Um, you know, with the tower gardens, you guys, my gosh, I, I got to spend a lot of time with Steve Ritz at conference and Lisette and true gardens. And I helped two of my friends who actually had gotten gardens just secondhand, but I helped them and that encouraged them, you know, to get their towers going and make some orders. My one friend ordered the full suite of juice plus the other one had ordered some, you know, tonic from me. Um, so, you know, that's just so much fun. And then just, you know, know some of your customers, like my one sister-in-law is on the um, Juice Plus study with my nephew. And, and I realized, you know what, she's always up for trying something new, which I didn't, I was really unexpected. So like when Perform came, oh yeah, sure, I'll try it. I was like, okay. And then when we had the promotion for the berries recently, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to text her. She's like, okay. You know, <laughs> so it was like five minutes later, I have an order. So, you know, you just never know. So, um, you know, I could go on and on, but I'm not going to do that. I know we have more to go tonight. So anyway, just really everyone take advantage of everything. And just remember that, you know, kick fear to the curb. You need a good song. Brandon Lake, fear is not my future is kind of my uh, my go-to I love that song and it's very empowering so that's wow it. hey can, can we can we give it up for Sarah Sarah we're so proud of you I'm so proud of you and what a joy it is getting to know you better 13 years on juice plus too can you believe it hey, and you've got oh and she's got she coined a phrase for me when we were going because I always interview people before they get on the call uh she has a, a new customer who got on juice plus because this customer wants Sarah's juicy skin. <laughs> All right, so right, right, I'm right now. I said, oh, I've got a post that I want to use juicy skin with. So thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks I so love much, your heart. you guys. Appreciate so it. So much. Appreciate we love you. Thank you. All right, now we're going over to Massachusetts. Are you, you're not behind the wheel of the car anymore, are you? Sorry, yeah, I see. And I notice everybody's wearing their baseball caps tonight. How cool is that? Okay, Sonia Marquez from Newton, Mass. She's a mom. She's a wife. She's a yoga instructor. And she had more AROs in the month of April. She was the top ARO contributor. So here, guys, let's hear from Sonia. What is going on in your heart? Nine <laughs> AROs. And I could feel her. I could feel her energy on Sunday night. I knew she was looking for that 10th one. <laughs> I knew she was looking for that double digit. Next I month. Was. Thank okay, you. Okay, go ahead, Sonia. What's going on? Hi, everyone. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, and it's hard to believe it's May already, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I think what's really helped me is number one, um, just being more present. You know, I think I've been trying to do that through my yoga journey, and I, I was having a little difficulty juggling and feeling like I had to do it all. And sometimes the way my brain works, if I can't do it all right, I kind of just shut down. And that's what I had been doing. I had been kind of just shutting down and not even trying to move forward. Um, so I think starting in December, um, I just started stepping out of my comfort zone. Um, Pamelia last year encouraged me to run the St. Jude's Half Marathon. And I had never run more than like a 10K. And that was three, four years ago. So I think that number one, just doing 
doing hard things and stepping out of your comfort zone, no matter what it is, even, you know, and when we do that outside of our business, whether it's going to the gym and trying to reach a certain goal or anything, it really does help in our, in our day to day. So that was big for me. And then kicking off the year, I really just got back into more personal growth, just surrounding myself with it's Tony Robbins. And then we did a Brandon um, Barber training in, in January. And I was a little hesitant to sign up to do like an eight week thing, but then I knew I was missing it. So I really um, stepped back into doing more personal growth because I know that I need to be in community with others and to really step out of step level up, like Terry said. So I think that really helped me. So it kind of lays the foundation for me coming up course to every Monday night call. And um, like I was driving with the kids earlier and I realized sometimes I would make the excuse that, well, I wanna be present, I wanna, I'm mom and I have three teenagers and I got a puppy, a second pup dog, uh, I guess six months ago. So I was like up to my eyeballs and I'm like, oh, I can't do this. I wanna be present for my kids, I need to be there. But then in one of the, I think, Brandon Barber breakout sessions, I realized I started this in this business so I could say yes to my kids, so we could have more time together, so we could go on vacation, so I could, you know, give them the best that they can, you know, that we can afford. And I realized that I was doing a disservice by just kind of using them as an excuse. I can't do this business because I have to drive to gymnastics or I have to carpool or whatever it was. So I stopped making excuses. And um, really the Brandon Barber um, coaching really helped me. And one thing, maybe some of you can relate, I, I was living in my head a lot. And um, I have a quote on a post-it note in my closet and it says, get out of your head and step into your greatness. And I think that was a Tony Robbins thing. But then Brandon Barber helped me because he says, you got to do a brain dump. And I was like, oh, that's what I got to do. So I would just get all the worries and things out you know, once a week, schedule that. So then I could really be more focused with just pick up the phone and call so-and-so, you know, don't be worried. Um, that has really helped me be more focused because I'm kind of a scatterbrain. So if any of you can relate. And um, yeah, I think like what Sarah said, really loving on people. And, and, and when you think about it coming from your heart, like it's okay if they're not ready. It's okay if they say no, like, you're really just caring, you know, so much to, to share this. And, you know, even people that I don't that know as well, but I've kind of gotten to know them. I wasn't, a wor I wasn't worried when, you know, I said, brought up the business to someone that doesn't even know the product yet, but we've talked a little bit about it. And so she was like, of course, and she got on the call and it's like, what if I didn't even invite her, you know? So we just never know. So that's what I've encouraged you. Just really keep surrounding yourself with things that uplift you, that help you feel motivated um, and, and just keep showing up on Monday nights. And, and it just, it comes to you. The more we open ourselves up to these opportunities, the more they're gonna come in. Okay, guys, what do we do? That's what we do. Congratulations, <laughs> Tonya. So nine AROs, it's uh, as Sarah said, you've been planting these seeds for a while. And I love that you're part of a coaching community because what I've seen is that when people kind of coach together, all ships rise, all ships rise. That's what I'm seeing. Congratulations for doing that. And thanks for sharing. We love you, Sonia. All right, now we're heading back to Texas. We're going into our Grand Prairie, Texas. Uh, our next guest uh, was in the system years ago and she'll tell her story here. Uh, she's a reinstate and um, reinstate she hit qsc in 33 days guys that's 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 like 13 aros okay she did a 511 two months in a row okay so she did her five aros she put on a, a, a rep who sponsored a rep and i don't want to confuse anybody but actually she did a 522 two, two months in a row okay you want to talk about coming from passion and purpose and such a joy I'm having such a good time. She's become such a, a bud. And so we've only been working together for like 35 days. But guys, let's hear it for Deborah Shaw. Deborah, hello, my darling. Hey, Terry. Can y'all can everybody hear me? Yes, hon. 
Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, Sarah and Sonia, enjoy you so much. Uh, whatever all that is, Terry, uh, um, a 511, a 522, I don't know. All I know is this. When I was with Juice Plus 25 years ago, guys, the company was only five years old. And Terry, you were there. And um, I signed up over 200 customers in my first year. And what happened is that um, life happened. You know, situations, circumstances, whatever, it happened. So I started looking at other things over here. People were holding up. Oh, we've got the best product over here. We've got the best over here. And, um, and I started looking around. But now that I've come back to Juice Plus, I, and I know that God led me to come back because it's the best. It's, it's what works. And what I keep in my mind all the time is that it's the foundation. If you don't have the foundation for anything, a building or whatever you're trying to do, if you don't lay a solid, firm foundation, there can't be a building built on it. If we don't have the foundation in nutrition, which is food, we're not going to have, we can't build and have good health in our lives. And so that's what I kind of been leading with, with people. And for those that have done other companies before, oh my God, I've done so many other different things and I've got my list. And, and at first I was like with the fear, um, who was that talking about fear? Um, Sarah, about the fear. I thought, oh, they're going to think, here she comes again with something else. And I had to overcome that because I, I overcame it by saying, yes, I do have something else, but it's what works. I've returned back to what, what works. And so I was always, even in network marketing, looking for a Terry Luongo. <laughs> I was looking for a Terry. And when I came, when I came, when I joined in March, she said, just, just follow everything I say, just do what I say do. And I was like, oh. Okay, so everything this woman taught me to do, I did it. Get three trios, okay. Get this, get that, okay. Have a Zoom launch, okay. I did all of that. You know how many people showed up for my Zoom launch? I don't think anybody showed up, but you know what? It was there. one person, yeah. But it was very, it was a very successful launch. So you don't want to despise small beginnings. You want to stay focused. We have the best, guys. We have free product for children. Who else is doing that one? Nobody else is doing that. So, you know, I, I used to have an infer inferiority complex about the leaders and those are at the top, blah, 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 blah. And I would kind of shy back and think, I can't, I can't accomplish that. But yes, you can. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And your leader, just do what they say do. Don't make excuses. Get rid of those excuses. Like I think that was a sign you're talking about excuses. What, what is that? We can find a way to succeed in this. But my total focus is not money anymore with the, that, those other companies. You can make, you can get, you can get this. You can get this. You can go to cyber. That's not my focus anymore. My focus is helping people get healthy. Guys, mm -hmm. because people's health, it's, it's crazy out here. And the medicines are just, are just taking them down. So we have the best. And you've got to get that in your mind. We're a 30-year-old company. We're not just popping up saying, hey, we got a good product. We're backed by science research and the medical field. So rest assured that uh, we have the best. When you get that planning in your mind, then you'll, you'll go forth and you'll just share it and share it and share it. I make a lot of phone calls. Do I get a lot of no's? Probably not. I probably don't even, I don't even hear no's anymore. So when somebody tells me I'm not, I kind of, and I say, okay, well, I hang up and I keep dialing. I keep dialing, just keep dialing and keep dialing. So don't be discouraged, but know that we have the best and that we have the foundation for nutrition. Mm -hmm. And that foundation, when we lay it in people's lives, they're going to see Oh, I'm, I'm going to tell you about my great-grandson. I have a great-grandson. I have four kids, six grandkids, and three great-grandkids. So my great-grandson, seven years old, was about to get kicked out of school. They tried everything. They were getting ready to put him on that 
Ritalin or whatever that crap is, they put uh, kids on uh, the medication. So I told my grandson, hold on. I sent him the chews, I sent him the um, fruit and the vegetables in one week, guys. In one week, he turned all the way around. And my grandson called me going, Granny, Granny, you know, Johnny, you, we can't believe what hap what's happening to Johnny. I said, see, nutrition. it's the food, it's nutrition. And so, and then my daughter, I have a 52 year old daughter. She, she's back in the gym, she's exercising and she's excited. So just keep sharing the information guys, just keep doing it. And I'm so excited to be a part of this team and this mission. And I'm so excited to be with Terry. <laughs> and you see why I love her? Deborah, thank you. What are we going to do? Let's give it up to Deborah Shaka. Just amazing. We're already working on our plan for sales coordinator. We figured two more months. All right. Thank you, Deborah. All right. The other thing that we celebrate on Celebration Monday are our events. And those of us that have stepped out, we used to do events all the time. And we kind of backpedaled and, oh, that doesn't work. And nobody will come and nobody's interested and nobody wants to leave their house. And Sonia, Sonia, excuses, right? There they are. Nobody cares anymore. Nobody, nobody stays up past eight, blah, 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 blah. So here's Abby Nowen, who's usually on the ARO leaderboard for customers. I think you had five this month, Abby. Okay, so here's Abby Nowen, new mom, right? Transplant from um, San Antonio, Texas over to Nashville last year, new community, new mom, new community, husband is deployed. And she decides she's going to jump into events. Abby, welcome to the call. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, okay, so I'm excited to share a little bit about um, the sourdough events. If you're friends with me on Facebook or you followed me on Instagram, then I'm sure you've seen me share and post about it and how exciting it's been. Um, so I think my biggest piece of advice for you is find something that excites you and run with it. So if it's not sourdough and that feels intimidating and overwhelming to you, find something that excites you and run with it because, um, whatever you find, it's not like this whole process to me has not felt like work. It's been very exciting. It's not drained me. It's like encouraged me and lifted me up. Um, and I know that that's what our community is all about is lifting people up and creating these amazing experiences. And so you just have to find your sweet spot of what that looks like. So I'm going to talk tonight about the sourdough, but, um, and really this whole event idea for me started, um, with Melissa Falco. And so if you did not see her call, Terry, when was that call that she did with us like two months ago? I think it's about two months ago, six weeks to two months ago. And it's on a YouTube. It's, it's on the okay. uh, team up YouTube station. Yep. So go to the team up YouTube station. It all started for me with that. She really encouraged me. She's like the queen of events. And, um, I like Sonia and Pamelia and Terry, um, and Amy and Paula, I'm, I feel like I'm not going to even name everybody. I'm just naming who I briefly saw here on the call, but went through Brandon Barber's training and every, um, juice plus challenge that I've done, a new thing has come up that I need to work on. And the last challenge, um, it was events. And so I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta just push through the fear and do this. And Terry will tell you, I was nervous as all heck before this event. Um, I kept, I was talking to my 10 year old son on the floor, giving him my juice plus and sourdough presentation. And he would look yeah, up at 10 me. months old, not 10 years old, 10, oh, months, 10 old. months old, 10 months old, <laughs> Did I say 10 years, <laughs> no, 10 months old, Bo was sitting on the ground, looking up at me and I'm giving him the present. I mean, I practiced over and over and over. I call Terry. I give it to Terry. I'm like, Terry, should I change anything? No, Abby, it's great. It's good. You know, so all of that to say, like, do it scared and you just never know what's going to, you never know what's going to come from that. And so for me, the sourdough workshops, Michaela Peterson shared the sourdough boards, which, um, I will be happy to, um, once I finish sharing tonight in the chat, I'm going to post that board for you and, um, a board that I created with some helpful resources for you tonight. But, um, my biggest encouragement to you is show up, do it, um, create a waiting list. Honestly, for me with the sourdough workshop, charging people to come to an event, if you're creating enough value for people, they have, to, there's a foot in the door and it's not just like they can cancel at any minute. Like, 
they have this buy-in, like they, they paid $20. And so they're going to show up. And so I, you know, create value for people. Like I created that this fun little setup, you know, with a tea towel and, um, a spoon, which I had my spoon out here. So I got these and I'm going to share the links for everything that I'm going to show you guys. Um, I will share with you if you want to purchase it, but like, I got a pack of four of these for like 11 or 12 bucks on Amazon, you know, and I'm charging $20 a head. So it's really not expensive to go the extra mile and give people value. And then I've got at everybody's seat, um, samples. And then I also created these fun little graphics, which I, in the board that I'm going to share with you, you'll have access to these, but like a little recipe card. Um, I created a little QR code that says, if you want more information about juice plus, and it goes in the little sample clear bags, um, you can scan the QR code and I created a boards page. So I'll show you here, Terry, can I just share my screen really quick and show everybody sure. what I created? Um, hang on, Kathy, Kathy's gonna, let you're you done. Go. Okay. You're good. Okay. Hold on. So let me, okay. So this is, can everybody see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is what I created and basically everybody can go in if they are interested in more information about juice plus and skip, you know, I just took y'all the juice plus presentation and screenshotted it and stuck it in a boards page. So you will get this link tonight and you can go in and create a copy of it. And you just change the links to be your links. So, and I also, um, sent this to you, all you'd have to do is get a free QR code on, you know, the internet and change out your QR code with your website, or I'm sorry, not your website with this boards link that you copy and get a link of. Um, so anyway, there's just so many exciting things and ways to create experiences for people. And that's really, um, for me, I'll kind of scroll through this here really quick so you can see it, but that's it. And I also gave you a link where you can go in and copy this and make this your own, change out your picture and put your links. Um, so just a little way for me to give back to you because so many amazing people have invested in me and inspired me. So I hope that this inspires you. Um, so kind of in, um, in closing, I just would encourage you to go out and, and schedule the event, like learn how to do sourdough, learn, you know, whatever that is, um, learn how to do it and get excited about it. You know, I gave myself a little bit of time and then I was like, okay, I'm doing this event. And like, I'm going all in, uh, because you just never know. And so, um, one tip of advice that I want to give you is when you are sharing with people, um, verbiage that Melissa Falco talked about was creating a juice plus experience for people. And so when everybody comes to my event, the verbiage that I use is I welcome everybody. And I said to them, I just said, I'm a part of an incredible community with juice plus. And I'm going to talk about that here in a second, but we are all about creating experiences for people. And so tonight I want you to leave with more than you came in with. And so I know that you're obviously going to leave with the mother and, you know, the start of your first loaf, but I want you to leave with education and value and inspiration to take the next right step in your health journey. I mean, everybody feels inspired to, to be a part of your event and what you're doing. And so I just want to encourage you to use that language, um, because it will really, it'll inspire people. And I have got an event, my next event tomorrow, that's totally sold out. And I've got my next one in June on the calendar that I'm starting to fill. So, um, you can do this. Um, step out, be bold, be brave. And I'm going to share the links for you guys. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm here to serve. And thanks for letting me share, Terry. Thank you. Well, thank you for sharing. And thank you for those links, because that is absolutely brilliant. And I don't know, Abby said to change her picture. I think we just changed the name and use her picture. <laughs> it's like, I don't know about that. But in any case, that's just the way. When I saw your picture, I said, now nah, I'm keeping her picture. I'm just changing the name. All right. Thank you, Abby. And I know, hey, guys, and here's the thing about events. Abby's already had great success, but you have a new partner and a new customer from the sourdough event, Abby. And of so, course, um, it opens I, the door for more conversations. Yes, that's the other thing I want to say. So I'm still kind of closing the loop with some of the people. Um, we all know how following up and that whole process can sometimes take a little bit of time, but um, I had three brand new prospects. I'm having conversations with two of them, um, about getting started. And like Terry always says, it's just another exposure. So even if you leave the event and you didn't have instant gratification, 
like it's another exposure. And if you're posting on social media, they're now watching you on social media. So it's just a, con it's all dripping into the, the funnel of exposing them to our amazing community. That's it. Thank you. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, talk about an opportunity for growth. Uh, Kathy, could you pull up the picture of Sean Hopkins? Uh, guys, tomorrow night, okay, uh, with the Healthy Living Affiliates. Uh, well, that's that's next week. Let's do Sean Hopkins first. <laughs> that's not Sean. There we go, Sean Hopkins. Uh, Sean is our Chief Revenue Officer, and his program tomorrow night will be about affiliate marketing and why Juice Plus, okay? It is, I know that last week, many people were a little disappointed with the call, uh, uh, but it was fabulous and we were able to claim our origin story from it. But uh, tomorrow night, Healthy Living Affiliates, and how do you get there? You send your prospects and yourself to healthylivingaffiliates.com. Screen will push up. The first thing is live webinar, or live event click the button. It will ask you for your email, tell your prospects that they will have to put in their email and then they are accepted into the event. Okay. So healthy living affiliates tomorrow night, Sean Hopkins. All right. It's uh, roughly 24 hours from now. Who could you, if you're on the East coast, you're probably not going to send a text, but if you're central time on the coast, send a text, invite someone to see what a great community we are with all of the new languages and the new language, it's so exciting. All right, so speaking of events, that's a growth experience right there with Sean. Here's another growth experience. Da -da -dum -da -dum -dum -dum, drum roll, please. Um, yeah, me. <laughs> and uh, now you, you're, uh, you're not, you're, your vision is fine. It's two separate events one in Kerrville, Texas, and one in Fredericksburg, Texas. All right, so uh, live healthy with wine and chocolate. But you see what we put up in the corner? Uh, and I, Abby does this too in her events, sponsored by Juice Plus. So you don't have to worry about events or anything, you know, bait and switch, we are right up front, sponsored by Juice Plus. What will I be talking about while people are having a glass of wine? and having a piece of very, very dark chocolate. I'll be talking about reducing inflammation, gut health, and what I like to talk about aging backwards. There are five events in all when I head out there to Fredericksburg and Kerrville. I'm heading there on the 18th, so there is events on the 18th, the 19th, and the 20th. If you want flyers for all five events, just boxer me or email me or text me and I'll get all five flyers off to you, okay? Because Judy, what, else, what other events are we doing? We're doing Kids Health. Yeah, on Thursday at two o'clock is going to be um, uh, dessert and coffee. It's coffee and conversation. So we're going to be dessert and coffee. And then that night, of course, there's the Kerrville uh, winery event. Then on uh Friday, we're heading to Fredericksburg and we're doing a coffee and conversation at 10 in the morning at Mary Soulsby's home. And then she's doing a wine and a chocolate event at Texas Heritage Winery there outside of Kerrville, I mean, outside of Fredericksburg. And then on Saturday, coming back to um, Kerrville and we'll do a Growing Healthy Families event at 10 o'clock that morning. So you might have customers or prospects or relatives or partners in that area. Uh, Judy, could you text in maybe your phone number? I, we need to put an RSVP. If you have someone that's interested, please contact Judy so that we'll have an idea of who's coming. Okay. All right, guys. Anybody have any questions, any concerns? Is there anybody that you want to give a shout out to who had a good month? What do you think, guys? If not, next Monday night. Uh, Stacy Whitmer will be doing her conference breakout uh, workshop. It's all about hot hands. She talks about hot hands. So get ready for next Monday night. Do let me know if you're reaching out and inviting people to Sean Hopkins and what that looks like. Okay, guys, it's a wrap.
Peace and blessings. Good night. Thanks for being with me tonight. Thanks, I love you. Terry. Bye-bye. Congrats, Sonia. Fantastic. Thanks, Terry.